Yeah, I looked at the weather radar, and uh, it don't even show rain on top of us. You know, big rain clouds, but it, it shows rain toward Jackson, Tennessee. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's what. Good. That's what I, that system's just circulating in that area. Right. It's just kind of like spinning, I guess. Yeah, they they catching it in North Carolina. Right. Uh, There's been a lot of flooding up that way. They're getting like 20 inches of rain. Going Rider. A shadowy flight into the dangerous world of a man who does not exist. A young loner on a crusade to champion the cause of the innocent, the helpless, the powerless, who is fearless in a world of reckless automobiles. These are Caliente Moto Vlogs. Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, your boy Chris, I'm out on the go wing. And today I'm riding with Jumper and Tom. And we're, we got, we got some rain, I guess, from, what was that hurricane? What was the name of that hurricane that just come through here? Uh, uh, Helena. Frankie, Helena or something? Helena. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. You know, I heard, I was uh, looking at the weather this morning, and it's it's another one out there in the, in the Atlantic Ocean that they're watching. They're saying it's going to come right, it's going to come through the Gulf of Mexico and right back up. From you know, from what I was watching this morning. Well, you know, if you get the sun all the time, you you can't appreciate the the good time. So, right. <laughs> you got to get a little rain, and each life a little rain must fall. They say. Right. Uh, there is jumper. There is jumper on this. You got the twenty twenty three, right, jumper? Yeah. Okay. And Tom is on. Tom, what year you're going? Uh, two thousand six. Two thousand six. All right. And it's been kind of gray like this all day. It's kind of like as long as well, it stay kind of misty, it's fine. Well, it's, it's not, uh, it's cold. I, I can be, I can be wet, but I can't be cold and wet. You know, right. I'm, I'm cool with being cold. I'm cool with being wet, but not not, not both cold at the same time. You can be one or the other. Hey Tom, now that we got the uh, Cardo pack talk connected on your helmet, how uh, what do you think about it so far? Oh uh, man, so far this is great. This is my uh, this is my first time being able to talk with other riders, so it's this is a good deal. Oh okay, good deal, good deal. Yep. Usually I was only able to talk with the missus. So, yeah, this is a lot of fun. And I think the more that you use it, the more the more you become one with the unit. And uh, you'll learn a lot more about it. It's one of those things that when you ride with these, man, you can't even ride without them. Right, right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Looking good, my brother. Yes, sir. You know, this highway used to be empty when they first opened this thing up. It was all the no traffic on here. And now, uh, got a lot more traffic. Yeah, see, I got this old GPS on this motorcycle. It's, uh, not, even, it's not even showing a road being here. Oh, really? Yeah. Nope. <laughs> Yeah, yeah that was one. It's only been open a couple of years or so, right? Right. Yeah, something like that. Uh huh. You know, a little longer than that, but it ain't. It's, it hadn't been a long time. Right. Right. Yeah. That yeah. I, 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 Go ahead. I remember when I, I used to come through here when I was driving, uh, driving trucks, and it was under construction. So. Right. Yeah, you're right. It's, it may be maybe more like four years or so. Right. It ain't been a long uh -huh. time, but it's been a long time. Right. Yeah. That's one of the things about the uh, the new bike that I really love is that when I plug my phone into the bike, it brings up the Google Map. And, you know, Google Map pumps up and they don't charge you. Whereas on 
when I was when I had big sex, you know, I would have to pay for the map update. Right. Wow. And uh it wasn't in real time. So that was one of, that was another thing. You know, technology is moving so fast. You know, in a couple of years, man, we probably have flying motorcycles, you know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I I'll probably be on the on the front porch rocket by that time. Whatever they get there. <laughs> Well, technology is moving so fast, it wouldn't be long. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's like we went from CDs to MP3s in, in, in like one year. So, you know. Like a CD, what is so that? Fast. Exactly. Technology is moving so fast, you know, they start to have some totally different issue. You know what I mean? It's just like the Blu-ray players. Remember the Blu-ray? Oh, the Blu-ray yeah. Blu-ray players? Now you you can't even uh, people not even looking at DVDs. Oh, well, even SD cards. I got an SD reader. Yeah, this bike. You know. Uh huh. But with streaming, who 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 needs that? Right. Exactly. So well, my first my first gold wing had cassette tape play on it. So they tell you how far we've come. Right. In a short amount of time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take long at all with this technology, man, so. I saw someone uh, lying where, online where a guy had a phone wrapped around his wrist. Oh, wow. I was like, yeah. Okay, what are they going to come up with next? They'll put it in your brain. You just think about it. <laughs> you ain't lying. Hey, Jumper, I meant to ask you, you, you know, the last time you was here, we put the uh, gold strike. Uh, Panavista convex mirrors on your bike, and uh, that's been probably what a couple of months ago. How 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 you been liking it so far? Now that you got the uh, those five mirrors in there. Well, I want to tell you, uh, they uh, they really missed the the mark on these mirrors when they when they when they made these gold wings. Uh, these mirrors should be this size this size when they come off the come off the assembly line. Because uh, it's just the difference in the safety factor is phenomenal. It's right. just, you know, it uh, it can save your life. It really can. Because, like I was saying earlier, when you when you look into these mirrors, you need to be able to see far enough into that left lane, right? Uh, so that you uh, you can make a safe lane change. Right. You know those mirrors. I was finding myself having to bend down and look and constantly adjusting the mirror to give me the sight of vision that I needed. So it, it, it really is something that uh, Honda needs to take a look at. It maybe maybe when they come out with the 2025, uh, they will have resolved that problem. But if they haven't, they they definitely need to get that done. Right. Is there is there any changes that you would like to see? Uh. I know we just talked about the mirrors. Is there any other changes that you would like to see that you think Honda need to make to the to the new gold wing, or what's your thoughts on that? You know, I really don't have um, I really don't have any complaints about this bike at all. Uh, right. I, I'm trying to think if there's some other issue uh, that I'm having. I can't think of any right off the top of my head. Right. Um, I will say this on the positive side, this uh, adjustable windshield, it, it's a game changer. It, it right. really is. It, 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 it seems like it's something that's simple, but, you know, some riders like wind in their face, some don't. I'm, I'm, I'm one of those riders that like to have the wind in my face, especially when we're, like, riding out through Texas and California and Arizona. Right. You can let this windshield down so that you can receive a lot more wind. Uh, you can't you can't beat that, right? Uh, it just makes for a lot more comfortable ride, especially now with these temperatures getting up the way, getting up into the over one hundred over over one hundred degrees. So, right, uh, that is the greatest advancement that I that I uh, this bike is uh, being able to adjust that windshield. Yeah, uh, and just like that, I was riding in from Atlanta, I had the windshield up. Uh, coming in from uh, from Atlanta to Birmingham, I was able to put the windshield up to keep the rain off me. 
But now, right. you know, I can let it down. So, uh, you know, the older bikes now, you could adjust that windshield, but it was it was awkward, and you had to release the, the, the their release handles that you had to release. It kind of awkward doing it, but um, yeah, the, it's the greatest uh, greatest asset as far as I'm concerned. Right, new bike. And yeah, the I'm double, the double wi- the double wishbone, uh, the double wishbone uh, front suspension is uh, is a great move too. Right. Yeah, I kind of mentioned uh, in my one of my recent videos is that my bike is pretty much perfect since I've done a lot, to, uh, done a lot of the uh, the upgrades to it. You know, right. putting a bunch of these accessories on there. I kind of really feel like there's really nothing else that the bike really needs. Now, I, and you know, I think about, I know a lot of people would like to see a bigger go wing, but right. there's not too many things that my bike needs at this point since I've been on with the upgrades. The bike is it's kind of perfect, to be honest with you. So when you kind of, when you kind of hesitated when I asked you, you know, any changes you would like to see, you know, you have to kind of think about it like, really, you know, what does the bike really need? Well, I, I've got used. I've got used to the size. Uh, now, when I first, when I first, when I first switched from uh, to this bike for my 2012, right. uh, I, I did feel like the, the downsizing was something that they didn't need to do, and I still feel that way. I, I think if they had left the scale the same, right, and 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 the same bike, but they scaled it up to the, the size of the the, the previous generation. They right. would have had a they would have had a perfect motorcycle. It would have been right. perfect. Right. Uh, but you know, I, I don't know. I imagine they did their research and they felt like they did the right thing. But uh, I think that their sales would have been a lot a lot uh, greater if they had just left the scale of the bike the same. Because you know we are we're both guys under six feet and uh, right. like Tom. Tom is a guy. I think Tom's over six, six three, six four, something like that. Right. And uh, it's just a turn off the guys his size, you know. Right. Let me get yeah. back up on the I'm gonna go back to this next next year. What do you think about that, Tom? Do you, I mean, would you would the, would the new gold wing be more attractive to you if it was the same size as the one that you're on now? Oh, absolutely. But even with yeah. this, even with this model, it's not built for tall riders. We we got to we have to buy a new seat. We got to get that uh, kit to adjust the pegs to get them down lower and a little bit further forward. Uh, as far as tall rider positions, I I think Goldwing can actually take some uh, take some notes from Harley Davidson on that. As far as being able to, right, uh, right. I agree with you. I agree with you. I, you know, I've, I've been I've been checking out the, the Harley Davidson, you know, some of their channels, and I can see that, that their bikes are more suited for big guys. Yeah. Um, and and I think that's why a lot of people shy away from the Gold Wing because it's just not built for a guy that's over six foot tall. Um, but with that being said, there are guys who ride the Gold Wing that are tall. That uh, that don't have any complaints, so it, it's right. all up to the individual, you know. Yeah. And because of, you know yeah. this thing is so smooth and comfortable, uh, it, it makes up for what, what it doesn't have in adjustments. You know, you can't yeah. compare this ride to a to a Harley ride. You just you just right. can't do it. This thing is smooth right. as butter. Right. Yeah, and then if you know for the taller guys, you know once you upgrade your seat. If you get that ultimate seat, the King Rider, it sits you back, I think, three inches, two or three inches back. Right. And that right. makes a big difference, too, just being able to sit back a couple of inches, extra inches. Yeah, and I it, think it's even a little really lower. So I, I will, that, that's going to be my next purchase for this for this bike and, uh, and adjust these pegs just so that my uh, the heel of my foot it, it, it's not coming backwards, you know, behind my leg. Right. Yeah, yeah, that, that, uh, you see, that, that King Rider, man, it's going to sit you back a couple of inches, and it sits you in the pocket, so you're not sitting on top of the bike, you're sitting in the bike. 
Right. That's what I want. Mm-hmm. You know, I was looking at, uh, I, I saw, I think it was one of, another one of your viewers, uh, he mentioned that this mic is very similar to the, the, the 1500 Gold Wing in design. Right. And so I, I, I pulled out a picture and I looked at it and I said, you know what, he's right. Yeah. And they actually, they actually took the design of this bike from the 1500 Gold Wing. It's very right. similar. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm gonna take. There may there may be a reason for that. You know, I, right. I told you, I anybody who listens that you know the best gold wing I think it was ever made. And I've had all. I, I didn't have a 1200 gold wing. I think that was a 1200 gold wing. But I've had all the other generations of it. Right. And uh, that 1500 gold wing is all around. This bike is better in, 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 in terms of technology and speed. Right. But uh, the all-around best go wing I've ever had was that 1500. Yeah, uh, I heard a lot of guys it just, it, it, Yeah, it, it just pulled everything together. It, it was fast enough, uh, but the, the, the comfort, the size, uh, you know, it, it, you could beat that bike. Right. Yeah, I, I heard that from a lot of 1500 owners. They said that was one of the best gold wings that the Thunder yeah. ever made. Right, so, right. You know, people was complaining when they made, you know, when they changed, changed the design uh, from the 1500. But um, you right. know, you're gonna have, you're gonna have that every time a new product came out. People have to get adjusted. I'm gonna, I didn't like, I didn't like the new gold wing when it first came out. I test rode it. Yeah, I remember. I test rode yeah. the manual, and I test rode the DCT, and I just didn't like it. It just yeah, I, I, I just didn't like it, man. I don't know. Yeah, and um, it took a while. It took a couple of years for me just to even even consider it. You know what I mean? And then right. I, I said, if I get one, it'll have to be a manual. And uh, I ended up going with the DCT because I was looking at it like, well, if I don't like it and I want to sell it, I could probably get you know have a better uh, retail on it if I could if it's a DCT. So I bought the DCT. Right. Really not knowing. How things were going to turn out, and man, I'm so glad I did. So glad. Right. Uh huh. So you know, anytime a new product came out, people have to get adjusted. It's like anything else. It's like we used to put our when we did our income taxes, we put them in the mailbox, and then they came out with turbo tax and uh, rapid refund, and, and uh, a lot of people, have, you know, I'm not doing my tax on, on, on online on the computer, and then now that's what everybody does. Right. Or like, or like direct deposits. You, you remember we used to get paper checks and some people oh, yeah. check to the liquor store and cash it. Or, and uh, they finally came out with direct deposit, and a lot of people was apprehensive on getting that direct deposit. Uh, but look at us now. But majority oh, yeah. of us, you know, we re- we rather I'd rather be paid direct deposit. That way I don't have to go to the bank, stand in line, and all of this stuff. Right, for the right. Boss man, to give me my check on payday, it's already in the bank. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got some folks that's still doing it, man. Right? Yeah. Hey, I, I had okay. a job like that, man, on payday. You know, all week long the bosses be, excuse my language, up our ass, man, all week long. And then on payday, they know where to be found. I was like, okay. So when they finally came out with direct deposit, it was right, like, okay, now right. I, don't, you don't, I don't have to deal with that now. Yeah, I, I remember you know, my dad was an employee, and when they said they were switching to direct deposit and they want to stop sending checks, oh, right. he didn't like that. He didn't like right. that. Ooh, that right. upset him greatly, you know? Right. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, people always yeah. fight that. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't a big fan of automatic payments, you know, like when you pay your bills automatically because I'm just so used to just making my payments. Whether it was a utility bill or whether it was a you know a car note or whatever bill I got, I was just used to paying it. And uh, now I am so glad that I just you know I do the automatic draft. And uh, I know some people still well, probably don't like that because I, I still don't like that. I, I mean I I do what I have to do because uh, because some of your creditors uh, they that's the only thing they want they they want. Like right. uh, Geico, for instance, I, in Alabama, I could mail my payments in, but when I moved to Georgia, they were like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, we don't, we don't have that. You got to, 
you got to have uh, you got to provide us your your bank account number and your yeah. routing number. Right. And uh, I still don't like that. I I like yeah. to be able to pay my bills. You know. Right. Yeah. That's what. But right. But, but, a lot of know. people like that. They 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 rather do it. And I like to do it myself. But sometimes, man, you get so busy. Right. It's like you know what? It's easy for them to just take it out. And what I have them do is just have it withdrawn out of my credit card. I don't give them my my checking account. I give them my credit card. So when they make the withdrawal, right. it's coming out of the credit card. It ain't coming out of my bank account. Gotcha. But then you got some of them that want your bank information to be able yep. to do uh, the automatic draft. So, I mean, you know, but uh, that's just the way it is, man. It's, you know, technology is always moving. You can either move with technology or get left behind. And the way I look at the Hunter Gold Wing is that, you know, the technology is always moving. And that's why I say they start to make a, a, a nitrogen-powered bike or a, an electric bike or who knows. I mean, you, we don't know yeah. what our future holds, but right. technology is always moving. Yeah. We, didn't have, we didn't have Apple Car playing on cars and bikes a few years ago. You know, 10 years ago, we didn't have Apple Car play. But I, can tell you, I can tell you for sure that electric motorcycle is coming. It's definitely coming. Yeah. All right. it's, it's here. Yes, it is. It's here. Yeah. <laughs> And I, you know, I, I'm sitting here now. I say I, I would want one, uh, but I, I've had to eat my third supper time. So, <laughs> I mean, uh, me too. Yeah. You know, same here. You know, and I heard they coming out with hydrogen powered bikes. You know, right. So I mean, you know, we may look up and I'm gonna let this truck on by. All right, we're going to go and pick this spot right here called the Seafood Junction 2. Seafood Junction 2. It's an all you can eat buffet. It's, yes, it's an all you can eat buffet seafood spot. Okay. And, uh, you know, when it comes to a buffet, I'll sit at the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we are, hey, I haven't had anything since. So. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this gravel road. Yeah, watch the gravel, Tom. Yeah, yeah we'll go to the right. It's, it's pretty compact and pretty good, so. We'll go Man, to the right. You got all those people sitting out there waiting for it to open. Man, so you that what that tell you? It must be good. Oh my God. Ooh, we look like a bunch of your folks too. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, we these folks are ready to eat. Look at that. <laughs> Buffets. And they're waiting for the door to open. Where does he want me to go? Behind this car over here? I think he's going to put him over there. I guess I'm going to park next to you, Dan. I'm I'm gonna, I guess there. so. Are you going to park you back there? Do it now? Oh, hey, how y'all doing? All right. They must have got some good fish in there. They found them like this. Oh, okay. All right. I'm going to fix it with them. Nobody box me in. All right. You pull behind, pull behind him. Yeah, that'll free up a parking spot. 